pretty cool. I'm sitting up here glassing just to hear bulls. There's bulls bugling like right, right below me here. And they're just like taunting me, knowing that I can't, can't go on. raining again. Now I guess bad weather just pushed in here. Ah, it sucks. Ah, well, all right. Anyways, I'm getting up early. I just had some coffee and uh, now it is time to get dressed and start walking. And apparently I'm going to be walking in the rain, but oh well. Also, good morning. Been over in this spot here glassing for a while and just haven't seen a single thing move. I don't know why either. It looks amazing too. There's water down low, there's good feed, <clears throat> but just nothing moving. I can see really well too, so can't imagine there isn't something here, but I can't see it if it is, so I'm gonna head back over or just make my way back towards the camp and uh, see if I can't find a deer. Should be out right now too, because usually after a storm, the animals come out and feed. It's one of my favorite times to be out hunting. It's like if you're there right when the storm breaks, you usually can be really, really good. So. So after I, I bailed off that mountain that I hiked up to this morning, thought I'd come try and see if I could hit a couple of spots over here before I kind of hit that midday lull and everything beds down, see if I could find anything, and hustled to my last spot I was gonna check and found a buck, but might be in the running for one of the smallest bucks I've ever seen. <laughs> Barely a buck. So still no big bucks I'm not, I'm not too discouraged yet but seeing deer but man rough pickings these days for uh, decent sized bucks in this spot and I've hunted this country before and it seems like the standard size is like kind of your average you know four points it's about as wide as your ears you usually see a lot of those type of bucks but most of these bucks I'm seeing are either like one and two year old deer, which honestly kind of makes sense. There was a really, really harsh winter two years ago. We had a really high mortality rate from yield deer. And I wonder if this population wasn't hit particularly hard by that. And this is sort of the, the new generation coming up here, or the next you know one and two year old deer coming up. 
after that big die off. So we'll see. I'm kind of, this is kind of a meat hunt, but uh, if I find, if I can find a decent buck, an okay buck, for this area, based on what I've seen so far, I'll probably try and put a stock on it. I've got today and uh, tomorrow to try and make something happen here, so I don't have a lot of time to be patient and wait. So I'm gonna hang out here for a bit and then <clears throat> maybe just kind of mosey down this ridge and see if I can't do what I did yesterday and just pick a park country like find a buck that's bedded and it's bed. We'll see. It's a lot cooler out today, which is kind of nice. Probably have some more weather rolling in too, so maybe that'll keep the deer kind of up, off and on all day today. Plop change here. I don't think I've been sitting here for five more minutes after kind of feeling like everything's probably bedded down. And I and, uh, found another buck, there's actually two bucks. One's a two point shocker, and the other one is just another baby uh, two point. And, uh, oh, that's another one. Take that back, there's three bucks. two points. Not bad actually, it's kind of a big two. I never thought I'd hear myself utter these words, but I may be interested in killing that big two point. Given what I've seen so far in the last two days, it might be as good as it gets in the window I've got of time. And uh, probably a little bit better eating too. So I'm going to hang out and watch these guys and see where they bed and see if give me an opportunity to at least sneak in and get a better look. So, at least we're seeing here, right? I think those might be three of the bucks that I saw yesterday. I'm not totally sure, but one of them in there is like, I got three by four. And it's not that big, but based on what I've seen so far, it's definitely like the biggest of the bunch and uh, I'm gonna go get try and they bed it down and uh, be on the trees so I'm gonna go try and get in position and uh, wait for them to stand up see if I can't get a shot at that bigger one um, so let's see how it goes wind's right nice cloud cover and we got some big storms coming in so I'm really hoping I'm not sitting out and waiting for me to get up while it's just pounding with rain one hell of a storm coming in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put the camera away. There's like thunder and lightning just like all across the horizon, like as far as like, like the entire western front coming in here is just awful looking. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hunker down in this little tree well right here and uh, wait this thing out. I think the good news is that as soon as the storm is all over, those deer might want to pop up again. Maybe there'll be some nice, like, gusty winds or whatever to kind of help mask my uh, my stock, the noise from my stock. So. All right, I'm gonna see you after the storm. This is gonna be a lot of fun on this high ridge, sitting this thing out.
but these winds are strong enough that <laughs> I really hope I have a tent when I get back to camp because they are gusty and I'm just on the front end of this thing so it's about to set in. It's like strong enough to like knock over trees and whatnot so it should be out of the way of any trees that might get knocked over. But they're really creaking. All we do is wait and see what happens. Just hope you don't get struck by lightning. All right, now I'm really putting the camera away. Well, damn, that was one hell of a storm. <clears throat> At one point in time, there was so much lightning and thunder around me. I thought for sure, I, I would not have been surprised if lightning had struck like within like 20 yards of me. I mean, it was just non-stop. And then it was so bad that the ground was, my I could feel it shaking beneath where I'm sitting. I haven't had a thunder boomer storm like that in a while. I've been in the middle of. But I can see it looks like the clouds are lifting. I don't know what's behind them. I don't know if there's another storm or not, but I'm gonna be prepared to make my way back to where those deer are bedded down. I'm sure they're still there. If it clears up though, they might get up. Let's try and grab some food here for too long, so. You know, they got the better of me today. <clears throat> Been waiting here all afternoon, like almost five hours now. And I'm like, they should be out here by now. So I give it another like 20 minutes. I'm like, I'm going in on them. So I went down there laying down and they had been there, <clears throat> but they weren't there anymore. And I went around the other side of this group of trees and I could see the deer kind of off in the distance. Uh, you know, only like 200 yards away or something, but they're feeding away out in the open. There's no way I'm ever going to get to them. <sighs> well, I guess they were small deer anyway, so it gives me a chance to just kill a bigger one. Uh, I haven't really eaten anything today, so now I'm going to go grab some snacks. And I think by the time I get back to camp, it's going to be dark, or at least get back up to the top here where we can glass till dark. That's the way it goes sometimes. And I was close, too. I was only I'm 30 yards from where they were bedded and where they were going to come out. I could see two directions, but they must have gone out the front of that group of trees, which I didn't think they would do. I assumed they'd come out one side or the other where there was just good feed that they were munching on earlier, but not the case. Animals outsmarted me again. Well, <clears throat> I am getting packed up and I'm gonna head back to the truck. I only had two days to try and make it happen here and just could not find something I was all that interested in. I was willing to shoot that uh, bigger buck that I put a sneak in on today, but didn't get the opportunity. So, and honestly, I'm kind of glad because I got a lot of days left of hunting and uh, I'd like to shoot something uh, a little bigger than that guy. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the adventure. Um, if you do, be sure to hit the subscribe button because we got a lot of fun stuff in the works and I will see you on the next one. All right, our month of September content keeps rolling now. I'm, this time though, we're up elk hunting. <clears throat> Took a break from mule deer hunting for a little bit to come try and chase some elk. Pretty excited about it because we're in a spot. It's some phenomenal elk habitat. We've been seeing lots of fresh sign. We got up about midday, backpacked up in, set up our camp, and I'm with my good buddy Greg Blaskovich. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Blaskovich. Oh, you got the camera. You got the camera. I know.